Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News, a special edition coming to you from Abuja. Now let's go straight away to Lagos and uh, uh, for the review of some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world. The uh, famous Arise News analyst Emmanuel Efedi joins me there from Lagos. Good to see you, Emmanuel. Good morning to you. And I expect certainly the Nigerian headlines will be dominated by the reapprehension of Namdi Kanu. Expectedly, expectedly. Now we'll start the review as usual with this day newspaper, Nigeria's newspaper of records. The lead story, like you rightly said, is on Namdi Kanu. The lead story, Namdi Kanu now dot in a circle, arrested in Addis Ababa, remanded. Tell court why he fled. Yes. The this day exclusively reporting that indeed he was arrested in Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, just in case many people are still wondering where he was actually picked up. Now, the Minister of Justice made it clear that a Nigerian was arrested. So, because as at the time um, of his uh, disappearance, yes. His Nigerian passport valid, British passport valid, was, were in the custody of the Nigerian authority. So as far as the Nigerian government is concerned, a Nigerian was arrested, not a British citizen, just in case anybody is still making reference to Nkanu's dual citizenship. But according to this, yes, when he disappeared, um, after the attack by the on uh, his father's residence, palace, because his father is a traditional ruler, at Afaraoku in Abia State. Yes, he disappeared, and for, for many weeks, uh, the impression created that uh, he was killed in, uh, in that attack. But again, Nnamdi resurfaced in the UK, and um, he did not lie low. He was living loud according to the Nigerian security uh, sources that um, these they uh, spoke with. And as such, the Nigerian intelligence agency were fully on his track, monitoring and intercepting some of his conversations, his instructions. And according to this report, indeed, they have intercepts of Unam the Kanu's instruction from forming the Eastern Security Network, as well as his, his instruction to the effect that some prominent Igbos should be attacked wherever they are found. You recall the attack on um, former Senate president um, in Germany some time ago by some group of youths who claim to be IPOB members. Now, he has to continue with the trial, and it was arranged yesterday. And he had the opportunity to also speak, because he said the reason why he disappeared, jumping bail, was because his life was being threatened, his life was at stake. And I'm sure all that will come to play when the trial uh, commenced in earnest. But other newspapers, let's just look at the perspective of other newspapers this story. The Guardian newspaper, Nigeria's The Guardian newspaper, this trail IPOB leaders are rearrangement. Court orders is remand in DSS custody. I Jones here 26 or Hanese Afenifera Northern Elders urge caution in prosecuting him. Canoes are elimination won't quench human rights uh, here we are, Human Rights Writers Association. If you can arrest Kano, nap terrorists, bandits in the north. Now, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper, on the same story, Ohaneze, ACF, Afenifere groups react as federal government arrests, rearranged Kano. The Vanguard newspaper, the same lead story, how the federal government worked with Interpol to nab IPOPs. Namdi Kano, while the Daily Sun newspaper, how Interpol nabbed IPOB leader in Europe. No, 
he was arrested in Ethiopia, according to these day reliable sources, security sources. Now, the Daily Independent newspaper, CSO, civil society organizations, lawyers, others, urge speedy fair trial of Kano, ask federal government to stop pampering bandits, terrorists. Why I escaped from Nigeria, IPOB leader, court remand him in DSS a facility. Now, other stories, uh, Charles, and I will get to you quickly. The Punch newspaper, 18 judges appeal court elevation. EFCC fraud cases, 1,000 orders to start afresh. Five of my cases will start afresh. EFCC cancel. Judge handling 2,000 and six case afresh promoted. NJC should give judges six months to complete cases. Backdate promotion, says Falana. This is a big issue. You recall the case of Oji Uzokal, who was convicted at the lower court, upheld by the appeal court, but when it got to the Supreme Court, technicality came to play and it was let off the hook because the judge who delivered the judgment at the uh, lower court had been promoted as at the time he delivered the judgment, despite the fact that he had the case before he was promoted. So this is an issue that the judicial system has to address. Imagine 1,000 cases to start afresh. Cases that had been on since 2006, they have to start those cases afresh because the judges handling these cases have been promoted. But the prescription or the panacea of uh, Femi Falana, I think this should have been thought of even before now, that the NJC should give judges at least six months to complete cases that they are handling and the backdate the promotion thereafter so that they can conclude this co these cases. Because as this popular saying go, justice delayed is justice denied. So many people will suffer. People are having their cases being heard right now because these judges have been elevated to the appeal court. Now, the Business Day newspaper, emergency. Nigeria needs jobs. 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 Yes, according to this report, as many as 23 million Nigerians, a third of the 69.7 million strong labor force in Africa, most populous country, wake up every morning with no job to do. And if we have so many people unemployed, then how do you pull people out of poverty as the president has promised to do? So you need to create jobs, jobs and jobs. But the environment right now is not doing that. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper, yes, the lead story is the same, how we've, our federal government used Interpol to extradite Kanu, but this story below the photograph, 2023, Igbo presidency will end Biafra agitation. Ikure Madu, yes, former Senate president, Ike Ikure Madu, who's, who was uh, attacked in Germany by persons who were acting according to reports on the instruction of Nambi Kanu. But he's saying that if the presidency goes to the southeast in 2023, it will end Biafra agitation. I am a supporter of the presidency going to the southeast for fairness, for equity, for the country, the country's unity to be strengthened. Now, if I just rush through the foreign newspaper, the UK, the Guardian newspaper of UK, jaw-dropping fall in life expectancy in poor areas. Yes, Boris Johnson's post-COVID leveling up of agenda will fail unless it addresses the declining life expectancy and uh, deteriorating social conditions in England's poorest areas. A leading authority in public health has warned. Of course, Sir Michael Mammont made this pronunciation because areas like the Greater Manchester suffered a lot uh, in the wake of the COVID-19 and he is proposing that moral 
is proposing what she considered moral and practical plan for government's investment in jobs, housing, local services, and education to tackle health and social inequalities in Manchester and similar areas. Of course, the independent newspaper of UK, EU citizens, scramble for right to remain in UK. Yes, today is the deadline for uh, EU citizens um, to have to register for EU settlement. But in the absence of any extension, many are likely to suffer because of a delay. The home office helplines jammed as we speak. The, web, the websites delayed, and many may just have problems in their hands. Many EU citizens. Charles Anyagulu, over to you. Emmanuel, thank you very much indeed. Uh, uh, very comprehensive there. Emmanuel Efeni taking us through the papers from around the world. And of course, the dominant issue there. Uh, Namdi Kanu's reapprehension. He's back in court in about a month from now or so. I'm sure between now and then the papers will have a lot to say about the process going forward. Emmanuel, thank you ever so much. Thank you.